hello everybody on youtube if you guys are new to my youtube channel if you guys can please subscribe to my page kindly give the video a thumbs up thank you and i really appreciate your guys love and support now tonight's video is called dominican woman western union scam the reason i decided to test this subject tonight was for the simple fact that these last couple of years i have been talking to lots of women from the dominican republic from basically every other department of the Dominican Republic, from Santiago, Jarabacoa, La Vega, Santo Domingo, and other departments, you know what I mean, that I won't mention because there are a lot. But um, for the most part, I have encountered lots of situations where, you know what I mean, if I wouldn't be street smart and just, you know what I mean, be on my P's and Q's, they would have got me for the simple fact that, um, don't get me wrong. I mean, Dominican women are beautiful. I love Dominican women. You know what I mean? I, I find them very sexy, very appealing. I think that, you know what I mean, that they can make any man in the world fall in love with them for the simple fact that, you know what I mean, they got good personalities. They're easygoing. They're fun to be with. But if you are not careful, they will take you for everything you've got. Now, what happens is that some men they feel lonely they feel depressed and um these women they talk to guys every day so they explore guys and you know what i mean they'll make you feel at ease they'll make you feel nice and homey and you know what i mean they'll engage you in casual conversation and they'll ask you certain questions have you been to the dr do you have family here and before you know it, without even asking them you know what i mean some of them will just straight out send you like nude pictures on whatsapp and you know what I mean? After that, it's like without you even asking for it. You know what I mean? Without you even asking for it. I'm telling you this because it has happened to me. They'll send you pictures, you know what I mean, of them masturbating or doing, you know what I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff. And I mean, what guy doesn't want to see that? I mean, you're only human, you know what I mean? And um, I'm not even going to lie. These girls are really beautiful. And then after that, they'll they'll tell you that, you know what I mean, to send them money and this and this and this and that. And it's like, you know what I mean, it's mind-blowing. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll just, I'll go along with it to see how far they take it. And um, I have had girls ask me if I can send them $100 for a shirt. You know what I mean, that if I can send them money to pay their utility bills. And just about anything you could just imagine. You know what I mean? I had this one girl tell me that supposedly that they ran up on her house and that they had taken her money at gunpoint and, you know what I mean, that that money was for to pay for the university and other stuff. And um, once, you know what I mean, I didn't exceed with her expectations. Off top, she just deleted me. Um, she blocked me from WhatsApp. She blocked me from Facebook. And... Um, that's just one case. I've gone to several cases. You know what I mean? And then there was this other time where I was talking to this one beautiful girl. She was light-skinned. And she was from Puerto Plata. Down there from Sosua. And um, I heard her friend talking about Mande Cuartos. Mande Cuartos. Cuartos in Dominican Republic is money. For me to send money. And, and I thought it was really, you know what I mean, very disrespectful on her part to just, you know what I mean, blur that out. You know what I mean? Her friend. So, you know what I mean, from there, I think, you know what I mean, it took its course. We started kind of like clashing or whatever. But um, I stopped talking to her. And then there was this other case where I was talking to some girls from the DR where, you know what I mean, she had sent me the camera and we were talking. And, and I knew that it was something fucking fishy about this for the simple fact that I have, I was hearing her friend in the background, you know what I mean, hearing her. And seeing her through the camera, you know, what I mean, her hustling some other guy. So I was like not talking that much to see what her friend was asking and what she was telling that guy, just to kind of, you know, what I mean, see the situ for, see the situation for what it was. And um, after I, I heard what I had to hear, that's when I told her friend that the the one that I was talking to that, you know, what I mean, that I'm not, I wasn't no dummy that I knew what she was doing. That the same thing that her friend was doing on phone. That she was trying to do to me so she just started laughing she started smiling she got a little nervous she didn't know what to say and she straight out ended the conversation she just turned off the call she blocked me from from whatsapp and she tried to block me from facebook but i beat her to the punch now 
I just want you guys that are, you know what I mean, feeling lonely or, or whatever the situation may be, do not send these females money. They are experts at manipulating and, and just saying anything in their mind power to get over on you. You know what I mean? If you go down to places like Dominican Republic, Colombia, go out there and enjoy yourself. The money that you're spending on these women, you should be spending on yourself. Okay? I went through a situation two years ago. You know I mean, I had a girlfriend in, in Pereira, Colombia. She never pimped me out. That was never the case. I wanted to help her. It came out of me to help that female. So this is a way different subject. But I'm just giving you guys a little sample so you guys can know the difference between being pimped and helping somebody out. Sometimes when you help a person out, you know what I mean, they will take advantage of you for the simple fact that nine times out of ten, they've never been treated that way and they don't know how to deal with the situation. Or they're just, you know what I mean, very messed up people, you know what I mean, to the point where they don't care about anybody. Because if you are doing somebody a solid and that person's turning on the side of your neck, you know what I mean, when you're doing that person a solid, then that person has to be a really shitty person, you know what I mean, to do that to you. Because, I mean, you're sending that person money to eat. You're buying that person clothes, you know what I mean? So when you go out there to Colombia, you know what I mean, so that, that person looks nice, you know what I mean? You're taking care of her, and, and, and for that person to go out of themselves, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's a very bad situation. But yes, we have guys that are flocking to the Dominican Republic. Don't get me wrong, the, the women out there are really, really beautiful. Nothing but time, nines and tens. You know what I mean? But you have a lot of guys that are going out there, and you know what I mean? That they're going straight up to a situation up head for the simple fact that nine times out of ten, those females that you're running into or that are talking to you, they have men out there. You know what I mean? And the girls that are chapeadoras, they have friends that are atracadores. Atracadores are the ones that are gunners that are out there robbing people. And if they know that you're coming from the States, guess what? They know you're bringing money. So they'll rob you and take you for everything you've got. I'm not saying that every every person that you run into is going to do that to you. But I have heard a lot of cases where stuff has happened. And um, this one time last year when I was planning already to go to the DR... She started telling her brother started telling me that if I was going to the DR, not to tell anybody, because outside of the airport, you know what I mean, they rob people. You know what I mean, if they know that you're coming from the states or whatever. So you know what I mean. I just decided, you know what I mean, I wasn't going to go. You know what I mean, I wasn't prepared. And when I do go to the DR, I'm going with somebody who's Dominican, so that that way, you know what I mean, the the situation is different. You know what I mean. But um. I speak perfect Spanish and I speak perfect English. So for the most part, it's very hard to get by on me. You know what I mean? But for you guys that are going out there or at this very moment that are sending money to these females, just know that the same way they're pimping you out, the same way you got maybe 19, 20, or 30 people behind them doing the same thing, being fed the same lies, and, and you know what? They're so good at what they do. They engage you in casual conversation. They tell you I'm more. They make you feel good. And it's just nothing but lies. It's like Judas was to Jesus. They're only here to cause confusion. It's a psychological thing. You know what I mean? They'll mix the lies with the truth to confuse you. They're psychological here. So for you guys that are going out there, you know what I mean? Do your thing. Go out there. You know what I mean? I'm not telling you sleep around with different women. That's your thing. But personally, what I'm trying to tell you is to, for you guys to go out there and enjoy yourselves. You know what I mean? You only live one life and um, you have to live it to the fullest, but with precaution. Okay? So do not let yourself get, you know what I mean, mistook in or mislied to, you know what I mean, or misguided in whatever situation, you know what I mean, that presents itself. Do not fall for this type of stuff. Talk to them. And like I tell you guys. You're going to run into a decent Dominican woman. Because I don't want you guys thinking that I'm basically saying that all the women in the DR are like that. No. You have really good solid women. But for the most part the women that are really worth it. There were guys that ain't worth a dime. There were guys that beat them. There were guys that don't care about them. And um, for the most part they're taken. You know what I mean. But you will run into good women out there. So, you know what I mean, just keep your eyes 
you know what I mean, on the prize and just analyze people. What I recommend is for you guys to make them friends and really get to know the person before you go in for the kill. So that way you know what you're going to get yourself into. Okay? Now, do not let yourself get taken advantage of. If you're a guy that's sending money out there right now, stop doing it now. As of today, stop it. Okay? If you guys like this video, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe to my page and stay tuned for more content. Good night. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.